Heavy lifting is definitely one of the more annoying ones at the start of the game, purely because of the amount of preparation that has to go into it. Um, the first thing we want to do is to get the dump truck and take that over to the other side. Now, I try to take down a bit of this front wall to start with, um, which isn't very isn't very effective in the dump truck. So, you could actually leave the dump truck to begin with here where it is now or you can drop it around the back like I have or just put it somewhere else until it's clear. I probably wouldn't recommend trying to clear the buildings with the dump truck, it just takes way too long. So what we are going to do then is drop it off and then head all the way down to the other end where we'll find that there's a bulldozer and there's a crane. So the bulldozer we're going to use to take the front off these buildings and a bit of the side and we're going to try and scrape a little bit of the ceiling of, well the floor of the um, floor above. The reason for that is we've got two safes up here we're going to have to try and drop into that bulldozer. Um, these metal things are extremely annoying as you'll find out. So we'll speed it up a little bit. Um, we're going to take all this down and we'll stick the bulldozer out of the way to use a little bit later. Now what I'm doing is just cleaning up a bit of the debris before I move this in because the metal will stop you really really easily and the last thing you want to do is to get prepared and then have to go back and add more prep. You want to position the dump truck using the outlines right underneath the furthest safe, the one that's got the wood floor and I put a quick save here because it, you've done quite a lot at this point. If you look above this safe you'll find that it's brick so we're going to need to use the newly acquired shotgun to take that out and on this side it's wood so that's not too difficult. So what I did was I quick saved it and I prepared as much of the water ceiling away that will hold the safe up if that makes sense. So chipping away all of the edges so it's only hopefully going to take me one shot to drop this off. You can do that on the other side of the wood, I found the wood was a bit easier to give away and it caused me some problems. So, bit of tidying up, any metal bits, metal barrels and poles out of the way. And we're going to head back down to where we've got the dozer and we're now going to get the crane. Now you can use the crane to clear the building if you want to, it's quite effective. Um, I just didn't bother because I wanted it intact for this. So, we want to take off the side of this wall and we're literally going to ram the crane through the wall and into the other wall of the nearby building and you're going to try and use this crane edge as a ramp into this wall. You do have to be careful, you can angle the camera that you don't actually hit the box on the other side and that you don't take away too much of the walkway because then you won't have anything to stand on and it needs to be a walkable height so as if you're making a little bridge up to that walkway. The crane's going to stay there now this bit can be a little bit irritating to get up because of the, the clipping. You can prepare it a little bit more if you want to, but it's not a priority because you do start on this bit, so it's only really getting up the, the first time. So this is where we're going to start from after a little bit more prep from that alarm. But first of all, we're going to need to take the dozer all the way over to the other side. And we're going to have to do yet again more preparation work. You don't have to go through the gates here, you can kind of speed it up once you've seen the next bit if you want to. I just did this because my initial route was going to be round the back, but it's not as quick. And also it gives you a little bit of a better angle for going into the shed. And inside this shed is another box just on the edge, so we're going to smash off the corner of this wall. Really careful not to knock it off the wall. And then... The next bit of preparation we're going to want to do is to take down all of the fence and the walls in front of the trees as well as the trees themselves. And that's enough for the dumps, uh, for the bulldozer now. And you can drive the bulldozer over those trees. Oh, I pull this a little bit further forward just to kind of optimise and any bits of metal just get rid of them. And then I smash these trees down. I think I went a little bit crazy and decided to use the blowtorch. I was hoping that would speed things up, but it doesn't work. So you can either drive through these or you can just smash them down. I really couldn't be bothered to get back in the bulldozer. And again, a little bit of prep, clearing up the, the mash, because you don't want to get slowed down at all. Time is tight on this one. There's a little bit of metal there I could have got rid of. Okay, so now we get to actually finally do the heist. 
don't forget to quick save when you get over here and the pure enjoyment of getting up this crane definitely didn't get that in a good position okay so bang a quick save on and get ready to go so we hit this one straight down and through here you can optimize that a little bit more then we're going to run all the way over to our bulldozer i think it's probably quicker with the hammer but i just moved to the shotgun and i really could have optimized that better so that's the first safe in as i say they will hold in quite well be careful not to go too far forward like i did now i was lucky to get away with this first time i'm happy to reload drop the safe in and uh, a bit annoying so i need to reverse we're going to head back into the path we just made before. It doesn't really match about having to reverse there because um, you're getting water anyway. You could optimise it more by taking off the edges of these if you need. Be careful of this uh, incline of rock on the left because it will flip your bulldoze over. So enough pace, we're going to drop that and then quick as you can over here, pick up the last key and narrowly escape. So that one was super annoying, it took a long time of preparation, but I, I hope that that saves you a bit of time because it was really frustrating to keep having to retry those and then finding out it didn't work or um, I'd used the wrong vehicle, um, so hopefully that helps you a lot.